You are watching Open Line. I'm Chuck Long here with you. This is the hour. Ask an attorney, ask an expert, and we have the expert in the house, Kevin Kennedy from the Kennedy Law Firm. Always a pleasure to have Kevin here. If you have one of those legal questions you've been wondering about, real easy. All you do is dial that number that's on your screen, 737-7587, and you are talking to the expert right here, Kevin Kennedy. So no matter what that question is, whether it's for you, whether it's for a family member, whether it's for a friend, it's probably going to help a lot of people when you call in and ask that question. So make sure you give us a call when you do have that question on hand. All right, Kevin, we talked about it at the uh, beginning of the show a little bit about what you should and shouldn't say. And I think one of the easiest ways to illustrate it is when you maybe you're involved in a traffic stop or a yeah. little accident, something like that. You get out of the car. Is it possible that you can just ask the officer, can I take this? Yes. Can I video? We do that. And you can do it. Again, what I like to say when I'm involved in an accident, everybody has anxiety. Okay, try to get your composure together. Become aware of what's going on. How am I going to react? We've talked about that cam recorder is on you. They'll take you out of the front of the car. It's a video. They've got the audio. Anything you say can be and will be used against you. All of us can sense if there's a spirit of cooperation or there's a spirit of agitation. You're right, and of course, I've been pulled over before, and so then you have to kind of dance that little jig. You know, everybody wants to, well, did you get written up? Did you get written up? And I said, you know, it's all kind of interesting. I haven't been found guilty uh, yet, and I won't tell everybody, so here they come after me. But the truth is, yet yeah, you can tape it, and you can listen, and be very careful on what you say. Uh, so that's really some of the best advice that I think, you know, quite often they said, did you know why I pulled you over? You might even respond, uh, no, why did you pull me over? Why do I ask that question, Chuck? Because the officer may tell you something that you could use in your defense. You know, just because they're officers, just because they've been trained, doesn't mean they've been trained to the ninth. You're being trained right now. So it's, it's a, a mind game to some degree. You know, their uh, agenda is to keep the streets safe. We agree with that. But th they don't have to do it at your expense, and we don't want to misunderstand. Every week, I see accident reports that are misinterpreted because a police officer goes up and he talks to one person. One interesting fact I learned at the National, here at the National Trial of Trial Academy, they said there's bias in the general public. They say that if there's a person in a nice car, it seems to be more people believe them over a person in a bad car. Now, that's not right. That's just statistically. They say a person who's dressed nice, people are more likely to believe them than those who are not. So we have to understand what are the facts, what are we confronted with, and let us work with our best education to try to protect yourself, protect your family, call your mom, call your dad, get down there and get those photos. Good to know. All right, let's go back to our lines. If you do have a question this evening that you would like to call in and ask, we would love to have you call 737-7587. Uh, let's go to the lines right now. Stephanie, good evening. We're glad that you Hi. called in. What's your question for Kevin? Okay, um, so my stepfather, my mother recently passed away. And my stepfather has has forged the deed to her home and has sold her property. But we know for a fact that he forged the, the deed to the home. Um, and he has just totally ghosted us and acts like we don't exist, my mother's children. Okay. First off, you can go to the Register of Deeds. And if there is a deed recorded and it is a forgery and you know it, take a copy of that and go see the district attorney. They can do their investigate. He can be charged with fraud. Someone could file a petition in the Chancery Court and have that deed set aside. So forgery is not the answer. And I'll tell you one more trick for our listening audience tonight. You know, people take a letterhead, even say from anywhere, and they go Xerox that and write their own letter, and it looks just like the letterhead of your business. And so we've had that come across our desk this week, used it in big courts. And so, and of course, honesty is the best policy. If you participate in that deception, you can be charged and prosecuted. It's not worth it. Okay, once again, good to know, Stephanie. We're glad that you called in with that. All right, we are gonna go back to the lines right now, and Raymond is on the line with us. Raymond, good evening. Do you have a question for Kevin? <laughs> yes. Okay, um, go ahead. I was, 
I was one called in a while ago about the selling the property because my mother-in-law, father-in-law passed away, and they had three kids, but the, I was left as grandkids and me, and I was married to one of the girls that was the daughter of them. Does that make me part of the heirs too? What I would do if I were in your situation, it falls blood kin. Now, if you were married to a daughter, was there a will or not a will? Because even if she left her interest in that property to you, that gives you a little grip. If it's silent, you could still have a lawyer make a claim. Just because there's an estate here, people make claims against the estate all the time. Chuck could have owed me money. I didn't have it. I can make a claim against his estate. Will it stand? Anything over 500 should be in writing unless we have testimony. There's rules, there's exceptions to the rule. So if I thought I had a good claim, I'd see a lawyer, discuss one, and file my claim. All right, so Waylon, thanks again. We're glad that you called back in. All right, if you do have a question for Kevin Kennedy from the Kennedy Law Firm, make sure you give us a call right now at 737-7587. We'll get as many questions as we can this evening. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back. You're watching Open Line.